Hey guys, welcome back to the Essex Rotary channel and in this week's episode, we're gonna be talking to you about fitting spiders with your stock RX-8 wheels. Okay guys, so yeah, many of you wanna fit spacers 15, 20 mil on your RX-8. Now, they will fit, hub centrics are the way to go, but the problem is with some of the wheels, the, the stock wheels, you can have problems getting them on without cutting the cutting the, the stock studs down. Um, I've got the world's worst spicer. And a front RX-8 hub to demonstrate quite badly. I haven't got a decent, like we normally do higher back spacers, um, but I haven't got one at the minute. So you're gonna have to make do with this pile of crap. These are actually hub centric spacers and you can see quite clearly the difference. But essentially what we're talking about is once you've slipped, there's normally a brake disc on it by the way, but once you've slipped your spacer on and bolted it down with a hub centric, you can normally have extra studs protruding out of here. Now these studs here are the ones which are gonna cause clearance problems on the back of your wheel. This probably quite grainy picture demonstrates what we're talking about with regards to the nut and the stock stud actually protruding through the openings in the hub centric spacer. You can see where the additional nuts to fasten the wheels on are actually located. But it's the protrusion of the nut which actually causes the clearance issue on some wheels. Um, essentially what you've normally got to do is with an angle grinder, cut this stud down to give you sufficient clearance. So I'm gonna waz the, I'm gonna turn the wheels around, not waz them around, but I'm gonna turn the wheels around now um, and show you the differences. Hopefully this will give you a good visual indicator of being able to tell which wheel you've got on your car and tell whether you're gonna need to cut your studs down or not. Right guys, so this is the first wheel, we've turned it around. This is the one you don't want on your car because this has got the shallow recesses in it. We're gonna show you the, the other wheel. So this is the other wheel guys. This is the one with the deeper recesses which will enable you to fit the spacer without modifying the studs. They've got much deeper recesses in them. Um, I'm gonna go across them and, and now measure them essentially so you can physically measure which one you've got. So, okay, first wheel, bad wheel. Essentially, the problem you've got is with your, the studs on your spacer, when you go to fit it, these studs are normally sit in between and you, you've essentially got an area where you're gonna have a gap and the wheel's actually being pressed, once it's torqued down, the wheel's actually being pressed against the face of the studs, which you don't want. Now, the depth of the, depth of the recesses in the wheel is not sufficient to be able to enable this. We're gonna measure this now with a set of vernier calipers which should be easy enough for you to do, but we're gonna get you a rough depth. And you're looking, the wheels you don't want have essentially got a recess of about four millimeters. It's not enough. The other ones essentially, you're looking at having a much deeper recess. I'm gonna measure those now and demonstrate why they're the ones you really want. Okay, good wheel. This is the one you, you, you really wanna hope you've got when you remove them off the car. So you can see physically the recesses are much deeper in this one. So when it actually comes to fitting your spacer with your studs, you'll see when we put it in that the spacer actually sits up against the face neatly. You've got no slop or play in there. Uh, essentially, this is what you want. So we're going to measure the spacer or the, the recess on the wheel now with the verniers again. This should give you an idea of what you're looking to achieve when you take your wheel off to check it. It's only rough, but we're looking around a 10 mil recess. I don't know if we can see that on the camera. But we're looking around a 10 mil recess on the good wheels. So it's, it's physically a big difference and it's easily noticeable when you actually take them off which one you've got. The problem is quite often people take their wheels off and, and they're not sure because they haven't got one to compare it to. Okay guys, so there you have it. An easy direct comparison between one wheel recess and the other to enable you to either put 20 mil spacers or 15 mil spacers on your wheels with or without having to cut the studs. If you like the channel guys, hit the subscribe button. You can find us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You'll also find our website at essexrotary.co.uk. On a slight side note, I'd just like to say these spacers are probably the world's worst thing in the world, but they're the only thing I had about to actually try and demonstrate what we was talking about. Do not, under any circumstance, use 20 mil slip-on spacers. 10 mil slip-on spacers, you can probably get away with five mil, but anything above that, you're gonna need extended studs. 
these are junk. Like an LS1, I suppose. Okay, lastly guys, on a side note, stay tuned to the channel because um, we've got a giveaway coming soon with thanks to the guys at Intermittent Lubricants um, who's made this possible. So keep an eye on our social media and our YouTube account. We'll get a video out with regards to the giveaway.